hello guys welcome to the 11th part of this series so in the previous video we have seen how we have created this uh, front-end page from where we can send our data to the back end and so on we will create the contact now in this video we are going to create here a route which will fetch us all our contact data so without wasting any time let's get started so I will go into my clients directory and I will go to my pages directory and we will create here all contacts all contact or contacts let's write in singular form so all contact or chase and what I will do is I will simply copy these all things and paste it here and instead and we don't want to use any use effect hooks similarly I'm going to change the component name to all contact similarly and we can remove this area and we will also remove these all things and we will write here your contacts and I, I don't think that we want this class name and let's see how this looks so but before we do that uh, firstly we have to replicate this route so I will right here my contacts and we'll write here all contact similarly so let me zoom out I don't know why this happens all the time so now we will go to our nav bar and we will here use uh, one more route that is all contacts and we will navigate to my contacts so if you go here and we will cl click here all contacts as you can see we are getting your contacts so now we want to display this contact into the table form so we will go to this boot swatch and we will copy this table so I will copy this code and we'll go to here all contact so I will paste it here and similarly I'm going to remove these fields and instead of class I'm going to use here class name similarly I'll use here as well that is the class name so if you go here for now and let's see so this is how it looks for now so we're going to change here some things like name and then address and then email similarly we'll have the phone number right so I'm going to remove this table active so that it won't look like act, like an active and we'll go to here and we'll write here default so we don't uh, want so for the default table we we, uh, we could only have this thing with no classes like as you can see so I'm going to remove these things so if I over here it should still work but it will uh, look as our default and here we'll go and write class name of table dark this is how it looks for now so now we are going to fetch all our data here now so I will write here const contacts set contacts use state and we will have this in the form of array now what we can do is similarly I don't think we want this user field so I can remove this and I can also remove this use context so now we can start making our request so I'll write your use effect and we will send our response to our backend so we'll have raise here 
and we are going to fetch and we are going to hit our endpoint that is api slash my contacts if i'm not wrong and the method will be git and similarly we will have here headers and in the headers uh, we will provide here our authorization so let a bearer local storage dot get item and then token and I'll write here result is equal to await raise start json and if there were no error else if there were any error then I'm just simply going to console.log the result so let's see this in action okay so we need to make this asynchronous function so if I open my terminal here as you can see we are getting an object in the form of array so now now that we have got that so we can use this and we can uh, set our state so I'll write here set contact to be of result so if I hit refresh again and we'll go to the component and we'll go to let's suppose home if I'm not wrong Okay, I think I need to refresh again. So why our component is not showing? Okay, it's fine anyways. So let's write here for now. If we'll go here, okay. So we need to go to my contacts. So if you click here, my contact, as you can see, uh, we are getting the contact. So what I can do is. I can just simply write result dot contacts. So if I hit refresh again and we'll go to all contacts, all contact as you can see now we are getting our state. So as you can see we have created only two user and now we can start uh, fetching. I mean we can start now. Uh, replicating this data so what I can do is so I will just cut this or let's for now comment this and I will write here contacts dot map and we will map with each contacts and I am going to return a component similar to this but uh, if I am not wrong this will have a unique ID right so I'll write a key of contact dot ID. Similarly, in the first field, we can write here contact dot name, and in the second field, we can write address. In the third field, we can write email. In the fourth field, we can write phone. So as you can see, uh, we are successfully now fetching all our contact data. So I think it should be responsive as well. And what we can do is, uh, we can fix this later on in the video. So this is working fine as well, as you can see. And let's see in console if we are getting any kind of error or warning. Okay, we will fix this later on, but this is just a warning. So as you can see so now I want to show a spinner as well for the uh, let's suppose uh, we, uh, our front end takes a little bit of time to get the data from our back end so what we can do is in that interval we can actually show some cool spinner so that user can know yes it is loading and it will look better as well so we'll go here okay so it's not so I'll write here bootstrap spinner and we'll go to the spinners I'll just simply copy this and create a new component that is spinner and I'll create here export default 
const spinner and we'll write here text of splash that is loading and we'll paste this and we'll replace this with class name and now we can export this out and we will provide here our splash similarly I could I can change the, our style that is width of let's suppose 80 pixel and height of 80 pixel now we'll go to our all contacts and we'll create here one more new state that is const loading set loading your state so in the initial state it will be false and here we'll write here set loading to true here we'll set loading to false and in the else, else statement we'll also write here set loading false and we'll paste here a component that is if loading is true then we'll show our spinner and give it a splash of loading contacts but if that gets failed then we can similarly uh, cut this out and paste it here okay so I messed up, messed up here and paste it here so this would work fine now if I hit refresh here as you can see if I go to all contacts as you can see we got that spinner for some seconds so now we can do is uh, we can actually make it align to make it to the center so what I will do is write margin to be of auto let's suppose text align to be of center so I'll go here and for some seconds I'm going to uh, change this field so let's suppose if I comment this out so if I'll go to contact as you can see we are getting the spinner but it is not working as expected so we'll go to a spinner and cut this off and we'll write here loading if I go here Okay, so we don't want this field I guess yes and now what we can do is I will paste my splash here okay let's see how to fix this okay right, so I have created here a new spinner with a class name and I have created some class names and I have provided up my I have closed this div and pasted my splash text here so if I'll go to my let's suppose Instagram sorry in this field as you can see it is working fine but uh, we don't want this loading to be as well so what I can do is I will remove this and as you can see this is working fine so now uh, we can use this pin anywhere so if I hit refresh and we'll go to the contact as you can see it appeared for a second and then it suddenly loaded our contacts so as you can see uh, in this video we have created uh, a route that will fetch all our contacts so now 
in the next video we will be seeing how to delete and edit some of the contacts and later on we'll add some or search functionality so i'll see you there bye bye